My name is Sakeos, and today I'm bringing you a sort of small guide on placement matches for the new ranked season that just started out today, so that you feel like you have some sort of control over an extremely mysterious and uncontrollable mechanic of this game, which is where you get placed after you play your first 10 games of 2018. Before I go into the actual content of the video, I would just like for you to go down into the comments and just type the rank at which you finished last season. After you play your 10 games and get placed, come back here and reply to your own comment where you got placed and what your total placement matches score was. It will give everyone a sense of what's to be expected. Have you commented? Okay, moving on. So the very first thing that you need to get some knowledge of is MMR and I will try to very briefly tell you what it is since most people already know, some kind of heard of it here and there, and others are just so completely aghast by this supposed complexity around it that they'd rather not delve into it. MMR stands for matchmaking rating and this is a sort of hidden value associated to your account. Riot does not publicly disclose this to you but you can find yours on websites like op.gg so if you're curious about yours go check it out. Basically this rating is what defines what range of players you get to play with. You could be a Diamond 1 player with such a bad MMR that you are being tagged with gold players and vice versa as well. It also defines how much LP you win and lose at the end of each game. High MMR means you will win between 20 to 25 LP and low MMR only between 15 to 20. It also dictates how much LP you lose and keep in mind these are only guideline values. There have been times when I was winning up to 30 LP per game. And finally, the reason why I'm bringing this up here is because it will undeniably dictate what your ELO ranking will be at the end of your 10 matches. At the end of each season, your MMR gets soft reset, as Riot puts it. And there's some math involved here. And as much as I'd love to tell you specifically what kind of math it is, the thing is, there's a lot of information and misinformation out there. So I wouldn't bother with searching much about it and I won't venture in telling you something that it is, being that it might be wrong. That that being said, after the soft reset, you will have to play 10 games that will allow Riot to up your MMR or lower it and place you somewhere on the ladder. And now it all comes down to you. And right before you start your very first game, there's something you should know about. If you play your games now on the very first week that the ranked season starts, then I can almost guarantee you that you will be placed a lot lower than say if you played them a few weeks or even a month from now. Why? It's because of the way this soft reset and placing system works. Since everyone is being placed at the same time, people with just minor MMR differences will get placed a lot lower than they were before. If you want to be placed higher, then wait a bit. But if you don't care about your actual visible rank and know that MMR is all that really matters and that you won't change it whether you're playing it now or later, then by all means, grind away. Another reason not to play right when the ranked season opens is due to the sheer amount of people coming back to League just to play rank when they haven't played it in a few months. You will notice a lot more of novice and loss of habit mistakes in the first two to three days, so be careful about that. Apart from that, now that you've made a decision to play, here's what you should keep in mind. First and most important, relax. Try to play your games in a calm manner and be aware that the difference between going 7-3 and 3-7 really won't make that big of a difference when you get placed. It's all in your head. Second, and this comes directly related to the first one, be ready. I mean, relax, but don't be sloppy. Something I really like to do before I play any league match, especially before the first one, is to warm up properly. And I use Mobilitics Proving Grounds to help me. No, they're not sponsoring this video. I mean, I wish they were, but they're not. It's just a one minute mini game that really works in getting that stuck feeling out of your hands. Third, if you haven't played League of Legends in a while and you're just coming back for the beginning of the season, then don't throw yourself into ranked right away. Make sure to play a few normals or even just flex it up a bit because who gives a damn about flex anyways? <coughs> <clears throat> no, but seriously, you can't expect to be at your fullest if you just got back, and that could just cost you greatly. Fourth, play your best role, play your best champions, and trust yourself to know what you're doing and how to do what you're doing. You are freaking awesome at this game. It doesn't matter what your elo is, because that piece of sh is just temporary. If you're subscribed to this channel, then you're bound to climb anyway. Fifth, don't care about your teammates or enemies. Seriously, the time and energy spent checking the people in your games is time and energy wasted when instead you could be worrying about your lane matchup, team composition, optimal build, etc. And I know I'm gonna make you all cringe with this last tip, but honestly, this one I need to keep repeating over and over to myself because I seem to forget about it a lot. And that is to have fun while you play this game. 
don't let it stress you out otherwise it becomes that which you are specifically trying to get away from by playing it please don't forget to like this video if you feel like it helped in any way comment your current elo before and after those placements and if you're still not subscribed what the hell are you even thinking about good luck in those matches sakeos out